12. Yeah, it's, it's a very it's festive village. It's so pretty. Yeah. has arrived. This is Lawrence. You got pink pancakes. It's pink mascarpone with berry floss or cotton candy as Americans say. And a bunch of fruit. And we have some yogurt and some like fresh juice. Lauren also got a red velvet cappuccino. And I got an eggs benedict with salmon. So we are at currently at Leiden. Yes. Lawrence in the Netherlands. Woo! So that's really exciting. <laughs> but we just had brunch at this place called Paco Chao. Yeah. So cute. I walk past this like all the time going to school and I never realized how cute this place was because there's no sign outside or anything. I guess an aesthetic of someone's room. Yeah. And then you open, you actually open this door. Oh, you open you right open here. The, you go through the, the um, closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I see you. See, it's so confusing. There's like, no doors or anything. You open this to go in. It's. I love it. Yeah. See, like that's the whole store. It's a Sunday, so nothing. Literally, nothing's open on Sundays here until like 12. So we're just gonna walk around, kill time. Yeah. And then see the city. I feel like the. It's a common picture you see on Instagram of like someone like leaving their bike along a railing of a bridge and then you take a picture of the canal. It's everywhere, yeah. it's everywhere. When I first moved here, I felt like I was in Disneyland. It, you, I feel you know, it. like I feel like I'm in a storybook. I still do. I've been yeah. here for a few months, but I still do feel like I'm in a storybook. It does feel like it. Yeah. Yeah. With the, the buildings and the flowers. I mean, I guess it's not flowers anymore. It's just the leaves are falling because it's fall time. Yeah. Great description, yeah. Mona. <laughs> <laughs> it's only in the US though, I've noticed. Like people say like fall instead of autumn. Oh really? And then yeah and then and then people are like yeah the leaves fall and fall so that's why it's called fall. <laughs> Like some of these are luxury apartments. Oh, this is the Van Delft cookies I was talking about. This is where I wanted to bring Lauren because she like I brought some for her when I went to London. She liked it. I'd love. Oh yes, please. If it wants. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, like all of this. This is what they're known for: the blue and white. It's made in Delft. Lauren's first profiteer experience. This is my favorite Dutch snack, street food. I like, she like put butter on it too. I'm excited for you to try it. Right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's like, they make it a mini takoyaki looking thing. Which is Japanese versions, but savory, not sweet. Mm -hmm. And you just put sugar and butter on it and it's... Heaven. Yeah, it's so good. I love it. Oh my gosh. Do you like this more than Stroopwafels or do you like Stroopwafels more? You're gonna make me choose? Yeah. I think I like these ones better. Right? Okay, yeah. me too. I'm with you. Cause it's like soft in the inside, but still like crunchy on the outside. Yes. Uh, the ex-food tour guide is going at it for <laughs> us, but... I yes. like this more than street waffles as yeah. well. I don't know, but because I think you can get street waffles anywhere because it's so like mainstream or whatever. You can even get them in America. Ah, uh, you could. You could. No. Yeah. This you can't. You can only get here. Yes. And we were in Albert Hein, which is a grocery store here in the Netherlands. Lauren is shook by how they pack. Yeah, they, they pack produce for you. for you. I love how they color for it. It's like very red, and then it's very orange. We're just doing the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> It's funny because I'm already kind of used to life here and looking at grocery stores here so I like bringing in other people and hearing their perspective again because I'm like, I remember feeling that way when I first moved here. I felt the same way when you came to London as well. I yeah. Like, you would point stuff out. I'm like, hmm. I didn't think about that one. Right? Yeah. All butter. Floor to ceiling butter. That's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter. And it's only fitting because 
got, we got a we got a whole whole section of bread. Like I guess you gotta it, match. It just the, keeps going. It keeps going. Yeah, you gotta match the bread to butter ratio. Facts. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> These are all the spreads. Oh, this is called hagoslag. What's that? What's that, Lauren? What's that? You ask. Yeah. It's chocolate sprinkles that you put on your bread on your toast. Okay, do you know what I did try in the UK? My friend from Denmark, she got like these chocolate slabs. Oh yeah, 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 that's a thing too. Oh yeah? I think they have it, they have to have it somewhere here. It's oh, that, big. that. Oh, okay, yeah, These yeah. chocolate slabs. And like, it's like And you put really, it on bread. Yeah, it's like really thin. Mango, mango slices. Mango and coconut. Cocos broad mit mango. I'm getting cocos broad is coconut. Yeah, coconut bread with mango. Interesting. So I guess you put it on bread and you spice it up because people love bread here, as yeah. you could see from the bread section and all this, all this bread There's here. So Everything and anything you could, you could imagine is here. Canned meat. I'm. I'm. I don't know how to feel about this. It's so weird. It's literally canned sausages. <laughs> I guess like spam musubi, spam is in a can, yeah. but it's still a little strange. Yeah. That's in the only bowl in. We are currently at the Hague city center shopping area, and because it's almost New Year's, we have only bowl in. And we've never tried it, we're gonna try it for the first time, and we're sharing. It looks really good, apparently it's warm. You can take the first bite. Thoughts? Mm. Oli Bolin also literally means an oil ball. There's orange zest in here. Oh! Which I wasn't anticipating, but it's in there. Okay. Yeah. It tastes really good. But it is a fried dough ball. So a little while later, we're back in the, in, in the kitchen of my apartment. <laughs> and now we're baking one of a recipe that I found yes. on Instagram. We got some um, buckwheat flour, almond flour, slashed bananas, dates, pumpkin spice all the way from the USA. <laughs> Rice almond milk and some pumpkin seeds and a bunch of nuts and coconut Himalayan salt going on. Yeah, but you know, I just happen to have all this on hand because one, I like to bake. Two, which is wow. I usually, I when I ever I follow like I sometimes do follow like Instagrams that are yeah. like that, like have recipes, and it'll be like use buckwheat flour or like blanched almond flour and I'll be like I don't have that so I'm just gonna use flour instead yeah. but here we but are here I don't baking with the real deal <laughs> I don't have flour I don't have eggs I don't have butter I don't have yeah. like the regular baking, baking stuff things. supplies or ingredients <laughs> like I have cacao powder but yeah. not cocoa powder we're gonna try to make gonna like a a loaf Pumpkin spice loaf, probably add some nuts and just make it nice and I don't know, it's a good time, it's a good, it's a good time. time. We added some pumpkin seeds at the top, vegan, gluten free, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dank. 